Vein-type mineral deposits. Vein-type mineral deposits are significant sources of various metals and minerals and play a crucial role in mining industries. These deposits are typically formed by the precipitation of minerals from hydrothermal fluids in fractures, faults, or fissures within the host rock. Here is a detailed overview of vein-type mineral deposits. Characteristics Formation process Hydrothermal fluids, vein deposits form when hydrothermal fluids, which are hot, mineral-rich solutions, migrate through fractures and fissures in the Earth's crust. These fluids can originate from magmatic, metamorphic, or meteoric sources. Precipitation, as the fluids move through the fractures, they cool and precipitate minerals, forming veins. The temperature and pressure conditions, along with the chemical composition of the fluids and the host rock, determine the types of minerals that form. Structure Vein width, veins can vary in width from a few millimeters to several meters. Vein orientation, they often follow the path of least resistance, filling pre-existing fractures and faults. Veins can be vertical, horizontal, or inclined. Mineral composition Metallic minerals, commonly found metals include gold, silver, copper, lead, and zinc. Gang minerals, these are non-metallic minerals that often accompany the ore minerals. Common gang minerals include quartz, calcite, and fluorite. Types of vein deposits. Fissure veins. Characteristics, form in open fissures or fractures. Example minerals, quartz, calcite, gold, silver. Shear zone veins. Characteristics, form in zones of intense shearing and deformation. Example minerals, gold, sulfides, e.g., pyrite, calcopyrite. Stockwork veins. Characteristics, consist of a network of interconnected veins. Example minerals, copper, molybdenum. Griesen veins. Characteristics, formed in granitic rocks, often associated with tin and tungsten. Example minerals, tin, tungsten, topaz. Exploration and mining. Exploration techniques. Geological mapping, identifying surface expressions of veins and understanding the regional geology. Geochemical surveys, analyzing soil, rock, and water samples for anomalous concentrations of target minerals. Geophysical methods, using techniques like seismic, magnetic, and electrical surveys to detect subsurface structures. Mining methods. Underground mining, often employed due to the depth and narrow width of many vein deposits. Open pit mining, used when veins are close to the surface and can be economically extracted. Economic importance. Vein deposits are significant for their high-grade ores and are a major source of metals such as gold and silver. They are often targeted for their relatively straightforward processing and high profitability. Additionally, they can also host a variety of other valuable minerals and provide critical resources for various industries. Environmental Considerations Mining vein deposits can have environmental impacts, including habitat disruption, water contamination, and tailings disposal issues. Responsible mining practices and effective remediation strategies are essential to minimize these impacts and ensure sustainable development. Examples of famous vein deposits Mother Lode, California, USA famous for its gold veins. Comstock Lode, Nevada, USA known for its rich silver veins. Cornish Tin Mines, Cornwall, UK historic tin and copper mining district with extensive vein deposits. Understanding the formation, exploration, and exploitation of vein-type mineral deposits is crucial for the mining industry to efficiently and sustainably tap into these valuable resources. Formation of Vein-Type Mineral Deposits The formation of vein-type mineral deposits involves a series of geological processes that concentrate minerals in fractures, faults, or fissures within the Earth's crust. Here is a detailed explanation of how these deposits form. Geological processes involved Heat source and hydrothermal fluids Heat source, the
the formation of vein deposits often begins with a heat source, typically related to magmatic activity such as a cooling magma chamber or deep-seated geothermal gradients. Hydrothermal fluids, these heat sources drive the circulation of hydrothermal fluids, which are hot, aqueous solutions rich in dissolved minerals. The fluids can be derived from magmatic, metamorphic, or meteoric, surface-derived, sources. Fluid Migration Pathways The hydrothermal fluids migrate through the crust along pathways such as fractures, faults, shear zones, and porous rocks. These pathways can be created or reactivated by tectonic activities like faulting and fracturing. Permeability The permeability of the host rock plays a crucial role in fluid migration. Rocks with higher permeability allow for easier movement of fluids, while less permeable rocks may localize fluid flow along fractures. Chemical interaction and alteration Wall rock interaction As hydrothermal fluids migrate through the host rock, they interact chemically with the surrounding rocks, leading to alteration processes. This interaction can change the chemical composition of both the fluids and the host rocks. Leaching The fluids may leach metals and other elements from the surrounding rocks, enriching the fluid in these components. Precipitation of minerals Cooling and pressure drop As the hydrothermal fluids ascend towards cooler, shallower regions of the crust, they cool down and experience a drop in pressure. These changes in temperature and pressure cause the dissolved minerals to precipitate out of the solution and form solid mineral deposits. Chemical changes, changes in the chemical environment, such as mixing with cooler meteoric waters or encountering different rock types, can also trigger precipitation. For instance, a drop in temperature or a reaction with host rock minerals can decrease the solubility of the metal-bearing minerals, leading to their deposition. Formation of Veins Vein filling, the precipitated minerals fill the open spaces in fractures and fissures, forming vein deposits. This process can occur in multiple stages, with different minerals precipitating at different times as conditions change. Zoning, veins often exhibit zoning, where the composition of minerals varies across the width of the vein. This zoning reflects changes in the conditions of fluid flow and mineral precipitation over time. Examples of vein mineral deposits Quartz veins Formation Quartz veins form when silica-rich hydrothermal fluids precipitate quartz along fractures. These veins often contain valuable minerals like gold and silver. Example, the Mother Lode Gold Belt in California, USA, is characterized by extensive quartz veins containing gold. Sulfide veins Formation Sulfide veins form when hydrothermal fluids rich in sulfur and metals precipitate minerals like pyrite, chalcopyrite, and galena. These veins are common sources of copper, lead, zinc, and silver. Example, the Comstock Lode in Nevada, USA, is known for its rich silver and gold sulfide veins. Carbonate veins Formation Carbonate veins form from hydrothermal fluids rich in carbonate ions, leading to the precipitation of minerals like calcite, dolomite, and siderite. These veins can also host valuable metals. Example, the Freiburg Mining District in Germany has significant carbonate-hosted silver veins. Factors influencing vein formation Temperature and pressure the temperature and pressure conditions during fluid migration and mineral precipitation determine the types of minerals that form and their spatial distribution within the vein. Fluid composition, the chemical composition of the hydrothermal fluids, including the concentration of dissolved metals, sulfur, and other elements, influences the types of minerals that precipitate. Host rock characteristics, the nature of the host rock, including its permeability, chemical composition, and structural features, affects fluid flow, mineral leaching, and precipitation processes. Tectonic activity, tectonic processes such as faulting, folding, and fracturing create the necessary pathways for fluid migration and provide spaces for vein formation. Conclusion The formation of vein-type mineral deposits is a complex interplay of geological processes involving heat, fluid migration, 
chemical interaction, and mineral precipitation. Understanding these processes is essential for exploring and exploiting these valuable mineral resources effectively. Mineralogical Composition of Vein-Type Mineral Deposits The mineralogical composition of vein-type mineral deposits varies widely depending on the geological environment, the source of the hydrothermal fluids, and the conditions of mineral precipitation. These deposits can contain a mix of ore minerals, which are valuable for mining, and gang minerals, which are typically non-economic but can provide important geological information. Here is a detailed overview of the mineralogical composition of vein-type mineral deposits. Ore minerals. Precious metals. Gold, often found in native form or associated with sulfide minerals such as pyrite and arsenopyrite. Common in quartz veins. Silver, found as native silver or in minerals like argentite, proustite, and polybasite. Base metals. Copper, commonly found in minerals like chalcopyrite, bornite, and chalcocyte. Lead, typically occurs in galena. Zinc, often found in sphalerite. Other metals. Tin, found in cassiterite in Griesen veins. Tungsten, found in wolframite and shalite. Molybdenum, found in molybdenite. Gang minerals. Silicates. Quartz, the most common gang mineral in vein deposits, often forming the main matrix of the vein. Feldspar group, includes minerals like orthoclase and albite. Carbonates. Calcite, commonly found in veins, often accompanying or minerals. Dolomite, another common carbonate mineral in veins. Siderite, found in some hydrothermal veins, especially those with iron content. Sulfates. Barite, often associated with lead and zinc ores. Gypsum, can occur in hydrothermal environments. Fluorides. Fluorite, common in veins, especially those with high-temperature hydrothermal fluids. Zoning and mineral assemblages. Vein deposits often show zoning, where different minerals are concentrated in distinct zones within the vein. This zoning reflects changes in temperature, pressure, and fluid composition during the formation of the deposit. Common zoning patterns include Outer zones Often dominated by quartz and other silicates. Lower temperature minerals like calcite may also be present. Intermediate zones Transition zone where more diverse mineral assemblages can be found. Common minerals include sulfides such as pyrite and arsenopyrite. Core zones typically contain the highest concentrations of ore minerals. High-temperature minerals like chalcopyrite, galena, and sphalerite are common. Examples of mineralogical composition in specific vein deposits. Mother Lode Gold Veins, California, USA. Ore minerals, gold, often associated with pyrite and minor amounts of galena and sphalerite. Gang minerals, dominated by quartz, with minor calcite. Comstock Lode, Nevada, USA. Or minerals, silver, mainly in argentite, gold, and minor amounts of lead and zinc. Gang minerals, quartz, calcite, and fluorite. Cornish Tin Mines, Cornwall, UK. Or minerals, cassiterite, often accompanied by sulfides such as chalcopyrite and pyrite. Gang minerals, quartz, tourmaline, and fluorite. Conclusion The mineralogical composition of vein-type mineral deposits is diverse and highly dependent on the specific geological and chemical conditions during their formation. Understanding the types and distribution of minerals within these deposits is essential for effective exploration, mining, and processing of the ores.